Hello. <clears throat> Published back in 2004, these three books, yes, there is only two of them, and I'll get onto it in a minute. These three books are the most comprehensive selection of books ever published on equipment, weapons, and uniforms of the World War II Tommy ever to be printed. It's the most comprehensive guide ever done. And if you're into World War II British Army equipment, weapons, or uniforms, go out and buy a set of these books. Each book, as well as being a companion volume to each other to make up a full set of three, each book is a standalone book. So whether your interest is equipment, weapons, or the uniforms, you can just go out and buy one. But if you can, try and get all three. I bought mine <coughs> back in 2004 when they were brand new. Cost £19.95 a piece. Uh, now, I think the modern reprints are about £30 a throw. Um, so they're not, they're not cheap, but they are probably the best ever printed on the market. And I don't think any publication has come remotely close to matching this. A lot of text in the, in the book, um, quite a lot of photographs, a lot of text. The guy goes into quite a lot of minute detail of buckles, markings, etc, etc. It's not just a, a book about, this is a 37 pattern belt. It's, this, is, this is various photographs of various patterns of 37 pattern belt, various maker marks, various ways in which it's stitched. It's that comprehensive. Really good set of books. Got mine when they were new in 2004. Unfortunately, and in hindsight, I should have done, I never bought number three in the series, which was uniforms. Because at the time, I reckoned I've got enough uniform books, World War II British Soldier. But in hindsight, I should have bought one because they were £20 when they were new. Now they're about £30. Volume one is equipment. Volume two is weapons. Volume three, which I don't have, is uniforms. So we'll treat each one to its own video. So this one is equipment of the World War II Tommy. Um, I think I've got them the right way around. Yeah, first printed April 2004. Volumes in this series. <coughs> equipment of the World War II Tommy. Weapons of the World War II Tommy. And uniforms of the World War II Tommy. Printed in Montana. And they are really superb. Each one runs to 410 pages. Um, the blurb on the back. Equipment of the World War II Tommy is a unique publication suited for both the novice and advanced collectors of military, reenactors, model makers and students of military history. It features more than 800 photographs that assist in describing the plethora of equipment and personal effects that were available to the British and Commonwealth military forces during the Second World War. Items are covered in a complete yet clear and concise manner so the reader is left with a good understanding of the subject and it is absolutely superb. Um, volume 1 equipment contains the following basic weapon equipment load bearing equipment protective headgear personal equipment tools and instruments knives and bayonets signals equipment anti-gas equipment medical equipment papers and publications folding bicycles gingerbread men gliders and tugs air dropping and how an infantry division breaks down so it is a really superb publication so we'll unscrew that we'll take a look through it in the next video we'll have a look at the weapons one which is just as good and i don't have the uniforms one so see if you can find a copy so equipment of the world war ii tommy So we have chapter one. This is common to all volumes, is that it's just a, a rundown of original negatives, blah, 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 war photographers. Then it starts, chapter one, basic weapon equipment. And you can see it goes through all the patterns of belt, the pattern 37, all the water bottles are covered, all the variants, shoulder straps, webbing pouches, every manufacturer's construction detail differences, whether the Sten pouches, Lanchester pouches, <coughs> um, Thompson mag pouches, they're all in here. Rifle pouches, compass pouches, entrenching tools, 
packs, bino cases, map cases, other types of pouches, waist belts. Then we have that's the 37 pattern equipment layout, load bearing equipment, motor bomb cases. Battle jerking, skeleton assault jerking, Russian canister carriers, pack boards, and we have protective headgear, and it goes to all the marks of steel helmets. Not only the marks of steel helmets, but also the liners, the chin straps, the centerpiece sections. As you can see, even the nuts, bolts, washers that make up the helmets, it's all covered. Mark 3 helmet, Mark 4, Dispatch Rider, Royal Armoured Corps helmet, Airborne Training helmets, Airborne Steel helmets, and they're all covered. Foreign Service helmet, Slouch hat, Indian Army headdress, Personal Effects and Equipment for Field Encampments, so you have the Housewife kit, so it's ideal for reenactors and people doing displays. Boot polish, lamps, goggles, watches, you name it, it's in it. Cigarettes, smoking equipment, rum jars, tins, tents, packs, sleeping bags, cooking equipment, eating utensils, mess tins, cups. Cookers, biscuits, rations, jerry can, tools and instruments, binos, compasses, <coughs> calculators, measuring equipment, range finders, <coughs> test equipment, pioneer tools, all sorts of pioneer tools are covered, wire cutters. And we have knives and bayonets, covers spike bayonets, edged bayonets, fighting knives, utility blades, signals equipment, pigeon stuff, field telephones, heliographs, signal pistols and verries, wireless sets. Generators and batteries, signal satchels, anti-gas equipment, <coughs> anti-gas cape, overboots, gloves, general service anti-gas respirator, respirator haversacks, it goes into minute detail of the respirator haversack, light anti-gas respirator, <coughs> anti-dimming an, anti -dimming and boot dubbing, anti-gas eye shields, spectacles, anti gas ointment, medical equipment, stretches, satchels, documents and publications, service pay book, skillet arms book, dog tags, everything a British soldier would have had relating to equipment, occupation money, Some pamphlets, folding bicycles, everything you need to know about the folding bicycles, every single detail is covered. Gingerbread men, dummy paratroopers, the packs for the dummy paratroopers, how they were loaded into the airplane, then you have some good colour sections on kit, equipment, the medals, all sorts, gliders and tugs, so we go through all the different makes of gliders, Hadrian, the 
tug planes that we used for towing gliders. You have the rotor shoot, experimental helicopter, rotor buggy, experimental jeep, and you have air dropping of many equipment, parachutes, weapon valises, leg bags, body armor, supply dropping, crates, packages, canisters, containers, heavy dropping, free dropping, parachute reports, breakdown of a British Infantry Division 1943. So it really is difficult to get a better book on the subject. So that's volume one as it is. Equipment of the World War II Tommy. <clears throat> as I say, it came out in April 2004. Which I think it's about a £30 book now, but it's, it's well worth investing in. So in the next video, we'll have a look at the weapons of the World War II Tommy, which is as good. So that's equipment of the World War II Tommy.